period of four years, uh, three members left the band. Uh, two. No. We've had we've had some member changes, so it's always been Scott and I. Yeah. Um, and then we've had different. We had. Different bass and drums. Yeah, different bass and drums. But Mike joined. Mike on drums joined pretty much like six months after the band started, so he's been in for a while. And then yeah, Andrew, our original bass player, ended up leaving after about two years in the band because he was doing graphic design and he does like all of our album art and website and merch and everything and then as our band was getting more popular his graphic design company was also doing really well so we were touring more and he was getting busier with work so we had to choose between the two um, but he's still like very much a part of the band like he still does all of our graphic design he still helps out he actually came on the uh, on the British leg of the tour to just come and hang out and tour with us so he's still like one of my best friends so I count him as like the fifth like bat still. the fifth Beatle fifth bat yeah, yeah yeah exactly and then we had uh, we had a fill in bass player for a little bit because we had so many tours booked uh, well when Andrew left the band and then when we recorded Hail Destroyer that's when we got Jay Schwartzer who plays with us now um, and he's awesome, so yeah, his spot is pretty solidified within the group. Just like great dude and amazing player, so yeah, we're all stoked. Did, did those changes affect the band or? Um, yeah, because I feel like I mean, getting Mike in the band, like he was a, a lot stronger drummer, so we were able to do more things. And then same with like having Jay in the band, like he is a stronger player. And that was our main thing, was when we were writing all of the parts for Hail Destroyer, we knew we needed someone to be a lot more solid with all these parts to play. And Jay was already like an incredible guitar player, so it was just a matter of you know asking him to come out, and then he was able to take on that, that role. Which is wicked too, because like um, he was awesome at bass, and then has now also like um, come up in terms of like doing backup vocals and helping me sing with a lot of the parts. So like adding you know his own voice onto a lot of the parts that isn't isn't even there like on the record. But uh, like when you see us live now, I feel like it's almost more powerful. Like having Jay and I sing a lot of stuff, so it's awesome that way that that just kind of worked out. Like we weren't even planning on that, and then he just is comfortable singing and playing, so was able to push that as well. So I was just like, yeah, this rules. And he headbangs really hard, so that helps. Yeah. Uh, during the show, you, you scream a lot. Do you never yeah. uh, have a sore throat? Um, my voice is a little bit rough right now. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, this is probably as strained as I get. Because we play so much, I kind of like, my voice just got used to it. And I warm up a lot. Like I, you know, I'm trying not to lose my voice and have learned how to not do that now just because we've been touring as much as we have, so. How do you warm up? Scream in your dressing room? Or? No, it's a lot. There's like vocal warm ups you can do that's like humming and stuff like that. So it's like kind of like just getting your, your throat used to that like a, abrasive, you know, noise that'll be coming out. And then I stretch a lot just because we move around as much as we do. So it's nice to like be limber. I'm old too. I'm like 28, you know, so it's good to stretch. Probably stretch before you work. I stretch before I work. Very cardiovascular, you know. Don't want to pull something. Especially, I think, like, thinking about it in terms of, like, this is just one night out of, like, you know, probably 300-plus shows that we'll play. So it's a good idea to, like, take care of my, you know, ankles and legs. And pulling muscles sucks. So it's hard to, like, when you do as many shows as that, to, like, have, like, a sore back or something like that because you didn't stretch enough. It happens. And you're just like, ugh, or sore neck. From headbanging. <laughs> it's a professional sport. Uh. Yeah, exactly. We, we look at it as like, you know, kind of like an athletic type of thing. Maybe not as seriously as someone who plays like football or something like that, but try to be on our game <laughs> as much as possible.